Alrighty, wish me luck. Depositing 500k into the coffer of Blast Furnace. And it's starting to go down right now, so we're going to start the method of making Mithra Bars now. Cool, we just hit 65 smithing. I totally missed it, but... Yeah, we're still hard at work here. 60 to 65 in one go. Uh, so we've already made 5,700 Mithra Bars. I uh, I have decided we are going to be doing adamant bars from 70 to 75 unless I crack and do gold bars or something but yeah we have all of the supplies for that just a bit more coal in the GE waiting so we gotta keep going we're about third done with the myth of bar grind bar grind yeah and uh, now that we're 65 smithing we can go do a quick quest yeah there you go devious mines finished best part of it honestly is the 5,000 rune crafting no levels, but yeah, I just wanted to knock that out once I was 65 smithing. We are only six quests away from the quest cape, but that's obviously on the back burner right now. So after some thinking, I'm actually going to stop the mithril ore and mithril bars because, man, it's getting to me. It's it's a little slow, and I'm not really enjoying Blast Furnace too much. I just want to move on to other stuff. So we made 10,000 mithril bars, so it went pretty well. We, we profited basically 2.5 mil then. And we got up to 67 smithing. So what we're going to do is we're going to invest in gold ore. Reason being is that's so much faster here. It's like three to four times faster. I just lose a lot of money. Instead of me profiting an additional probably like five to six mil, I'm actually going to lose three mil. I don't know. I, I can't really stand this anymore. Oh, coal's going back up. Nice. That was a nice <laughs> flip right there. Oh, same with the mithril. <laughs> I flipped that as well. Perfect. All right, so yeah, this is the method of gold bars. You just deposit while using the gold smith of gauntlets. When you see the XP drop, you put on the ice gloves, grab the bars, click the gloves to ex exit the interface so that you know that you're using the correct gauntlet. And then repeat. Let's do it. Only need 600 something thousand experience away. So we should be able to do this today instead of like tomorrow <laughs> if I did the profit method. 75 smithing is done. So I'm so glad I actually switched to gold. I, I, I do enjoy them a bit better. Granted, I'm losing money, losing a lot of opportunity cost. To make gold bars worth it over making mithril bars, I would be having to make 1.5 mil an hour to cover that opportunity cost. So it would have been more efficient for me in my current stage to do mithril bars, but at least we're done. Uh, I can sell a, like this back for like almost a mil. Anyway, though... Now that we are 75 smithing, we can go and finish another task set finally, the Kandarins. So I do have to kill a Mithril Dragon. I don't know how that's going to go. I got to do Barbarian training too, so it's going to take a little while. But Mithril Dragon kill, it only took me 14 hours. And we actually got a Rune Battle Axe, not bad. Oh, I'm a Dingus. Uh, apparently you need 50 construction for the task set. <laughs> Alright, there you go. 50 construction. Uh yes. Kandrin hards have been finished. So that is the second hard uh, set. I have been hyping that up for so long on the series. I'm so glad we can finally have it done. I just kind of put off the smithing. The We had so many different grinds that, you know, came in the way. Thank you, Master Clues. There you go. Kandrin uh, headset three, uh, which is great because I have a one teleport to Sherlock a day. So if, if I'm doing masters or something, like, I won't have used that daily. So it'll be pretty nice. And we have a lamp for 15k. Obviously put that into runecrafting. So the biggest thing is I can actually teleport to the bank now with Ca the Camelot Tele, which is really good for agility. That was the whole reason we haven't been doing agility for a long time, is because I wanted that teleport to speed up the runs. It increases, I think, like 8 or 10k an hour or something like that. So I also do get 5% more marks on the agility course, up to now 15% more from base. 10% more likely to have Enchanted Bolts uh, activate, which is really good. And then we also get an additional 5% more yield on the Catherby patch, which is always good. So, very good to get this done. We're going to be elking 20,000 bows, which should give us, uh, with my rates and like how much I AFK and stuff, probably like 40 hours of agility. That's going to be fun. Cool, just got 63 agility. We are just testing out some of the agility and magic rates. I haven't done it long, and I'm still kind of getting the quirks out on when to elk and stuff. The only time I've ever really done this was like for 20 minutes, like once, like a long time ago. And that was before the, even the medium tasks that I think, I don't even know. But it's so much nicer with the, okay, yep. 
I was just complimenting this course, dude. It's so much nicer with the teleporter. I'm telling you, it's so good. I mean, I probably should have teleported there. But in terms of OS Buddy, my XP rates right now are 40k agility and 40k magic at the same time. Technically, agility should be a bit more. And the higher level I get, agility should just be more because I'm going to start like not failing. I think it'd be kind of interesting too how much marks of grace we get. Or once I finish, I will show you guys all that. Yes, 70 magic. So I honestly don't know how many times I should be recording any of this because I'm getting levels here and there. But it's just a lot of work, obviously. We did just hit 66 agility uh, probably like 10 laps ago. And that's important because I can now boost up to do the Canifis hard tasks, which is great. But it doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to go all the way to 71 and then probably do the tasks. I'm already doing this anyway. And we have a farther goal than that. So a uh, good thing about 70 magic is I can now use the occult necklace. And I think I can also use ice burst now, which also was required for bursting tasks pretty much. I guess I'll just keep going. We have a development, guys. We have just finished the maple longbows for elking. So now we can finally start elking the U longbows. We have 9,000 right now. I still got to make 6,000. I haven't made any clips for fletching. So that'll be soonish. Just got to find some AFK time for that. Yeah, 70 agility, which means I can now use a ton of. Of different shortcuts. The most important probably is the Taverly Dungeon one for the Blue Dragons and the Blue Dragon Slayer Task area. And then Fossil Island Hardwood shortcut, which is nice. I can also start doing Ceridome and God Wars. I won't. But um, yeah. I can also go to the next courses, which are garbage compared to this, so I'm not gonna care. But yeah, progress is progress, guys. Remember, we started at 63 for the grind, so still got a long ways to go. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. Uh, there's no context, but I <laughs> I dropped my watermelons at GE for a meme. We got it back, though. We're good. Ah, uh, they're safe. Back in my bank. So into the method that I missed it, but 71 agility. So I know I don't usually show you guys clips of just one levels, but we did also hit 73 magic. A bit earlier too, almost to 74, which is insane. But uh, the good thing about 71, I wanted to make a clip about it, is because now I can do the Mauritania hard tasks without a boost. I could have done it a while ago, but I'm doing agility anyway, you know? So I think we're going to go take a good break from agility for a little while and grab the Mauritania hard tasks so that I can have the Bone Crusher. And with the Bone Crusher, I can actually start doing Hunter a bit more efficiently. So that's why I've been waiting on Hunter. Ugh. Trouble brewing requirement done. Uh, thanks to Waits and Abyssal. Two of my good friends for uh, helping me AFK this. You just basically complete a 20 minute game. What XP waste. Got the Mauritania mediums finished. Got the legs too. Easy runecrafting. <laughs> We're doing the tempo tracking round for the task set. I just got a lumberjack top. Nice. I've heard it's really easy to get on this game, so I'm not really worrying, but nice. Either way, though, that is the hard Mauritania's finished as well. Thanks to all that agility training. Bam. We can grab 15,000 runecrafting for a level. 58 now. And then these Mauritania Legs 3 actually are very good, because it gives me unlimited teleports to Birderot. And then I think a specified number of slime pit tellies per day as well. I don't know how much that is. But the biggest things from this is I can now go claim the Bone Crusher, which I will go do that in just a sec. But I also get 50% more runes for Barrows, which I have talked about doing Barrows in the future. Yeah, there you go. Bone Crusher. Each Ecto token should give me 25. If you check that, 11,525. So that's actually really good. That'll last me a very long time. This is going to be really good for the Zaya Catacomb Slayer. So I can keep up my prayer. Because you get prayer back from bo um, burying bones. And this will do it automatically. This is great for Hunter, like I said. And I will also be doing the daily claiming of bones to Robin. So I can get more Ecto tokens every day. So if I have any bones in my bank. Uh, I do not. I'll probably just buy a good stack of like big bones or something. So I can use 26 per day. And just keep on charging the Bone Crusher. So I never run out. But yeah, there's that. I'm going to go back to agility now. A72. And the quintessential farming level. 96. 
Three more to go, guys, and we'll be done. But yeah, I think that should be it for the video. If we check out our stats, of course, the main changes have been the smithing and the agility and um, magic. So yeah, it might not seem like a lot of progress has been put in here, but you have to understand, I mean, at like peak performance for me, I'm getting 40k agility, 40k magic, but I'm doing farm runs, I'm doing streaming, it's just, it's taking forever, man. We're going to still keep up on it, and hopefully next time around we will finish the agility goal. I think I'll make that the main priority, so if next episode is kind of not too much variety, I do apologize for that. But with that, if you want to check out the stream, the link is in the description. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.